Hey guys, Jason here. Today I want to show you something that I think no kitchen should be without, no chef should be without. Uh, if, if you can cook something as simple as rice, you need this in your pantry. Uh, it makes chicken wonderful. Uh, fish, it's incredible on fish. But it's, uh, it's preserved lemons. It's so easy. I mean, it's so simple. Anybody can do it. All you need is a jar, some pickling salt, and lemons, and a knife, and a brown paper bag. So basically, all you do is you got your clean lemons here. All right? These are Meyer lemons. They're actually got a little thinner rind on them, but, uh, but uh, regular lemons work just fine. You want to clean them up a little bit, that little hard tip there. You want to cut that off. Get rid of that. And you want your pickling salt. Just throw some here on a separate plate. And then take your jar, put some in the bottom of that jar. Now lots of people do this different ways. Some folks will do a uh, fancy little uh, cross hatch kind of cut like so. And then a fancy little cut like so. And then they'll take and pour the uh, salt down in uh, inside like so. But, uh, but I've found that it's easier for me just to go ahead and make them into wedges. I rarely ever use an entire lemon on a piece of fish. Normally it's just a, a wedge. So it just works out better for me. And you want to coat that thing in, uh, in salt. Drop it down in your jar. Coat it in salt. Drop it down in your jar. Just like so. And repeat. You can get the, you can get the uh, seeds out if you like. I just leave them in and, and get rid of them when it comes time to uh, uh, serve it up. And uh, the way you use this, once it, uh, once it sits for two or three months, uh, everything will get all nice and soft. I mean, the peel and everything will be uh, mushy. And uh, you pull that wedge out. And the way I do it is I'll cook myself up some fish and I'll just have it on the side. Uh, get you a layer of... Uh, a layer of lemons in there so you get a little more salt a little more salt on the plate and repeat I uh, I'll just serve up a wedge on the side but if you want to you can uh, sort of chop these little wedges up into like a uh, um, almost like a little relish put it over the fish or chicken for cooking and, uh, and just cook it on top of it. It's wonderful to do it that way. Uh, anyway, go through like so. Fill your jar up. Once you get it all packed and mashed down in there, this is what it'll look like. See the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the juice is up to right here. Everything's very well submerged, and you got the salt in, in here, of course, to the bottom, but it's all over in it. Uh, after, uh, after about two months or so, you'll go back to the pantry, and you'll pull it out, and it'll look like this. That's when it's ready. All that salt's turned into a wonderful citrusy lime uh, lemon lemon uh, syrup. Wonderful to drizzle over your fish or chicken before you cook it. Crack some uh, red pepper or some black pepper over it. Fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see here. come out they're just very soft 
very mushy. So I discard that seed there. And uh, and you can basically sorry for the rattling. If you like, you can uh, just mash it right into a paste pretty much. Spread that over your chicken or fish before you bake it. Or like I say, I'll just serve this on the side. Have my rice there. Even if you're a vegetarian and you just eat rice, this will change a bowl of rice completely. Take that up, chip it up, a tiny little relish, mix it in with your rice. Sprinkle over some uh, black pepper. It just changes everything. So, anyway, guys, like I say, get them to this point. I'll uh, just put them in a uh, brown paper sack, date it, stick it in the top of your pantry for about two months, something like that, and. Uh, you'll have something that's absolutely fabulous. So, hope you guys try it. I'm telling you, it's a recipe worth keeping. Y'all take it easy. Jason, out.